Hey YouTube, it's Mark from Northeast Indiana coming at you. Got a ice fishing rod that I started uh, putting line on, but then I noticed that around the reel had some uh, of their burrs or something maybe that I've nicked with a knife or whatever, but uh, I'm gonna try to smooth those off. Out in the uh, garage on a Friday night, it is pretty cold out. Uh, it's in the 20s, I believe. Next week's supposed to be single digits. Yeah, I got a little heater going, but it uh, doesn't seem to really be doing much. <clears throat> My big heater's not really, not really working, but we're still out in the shop. So doing some straightening up, came back across this. I think I'm gonna see if I can get some memory cloth or something and run across this reel so that it doesn't hang my line up. I'll keep you up to speed on what's going on. So the way that this reel comes apart, this is simply plastic. I don't know, what is this? Some sort of Optimex, Optimax 101. I don't even know if this is an ice fishing reel. I may have put this on there, but this just fits on there like that and the the drag, you just tighten it down. Very, very simple to deal with. This reel is plastic. Totally plastic, pretty cheap. And I was just running my fingers around here and had felt some burrs. And I got some real, real fine steel wool and barely ran it around. Scraped all my gold paint off but uh i don't have i feel nothing for this to catch on now so i'm pretty confident that that line ought to come off of there i'll probably wipe this down with a wet rag clean it up a little bit i might even get in there you can see that uh looks like i got a scratch there that's a like a molding line a scratch so i might touch up down here too just keep a line from snagging just in case i ever have to really rely on the optimax get those big fish so let me uh i don't have any gold paint but uh let me touch it up and i'll get it back together so in my uh garage i got a refrigerator that has cold snacks in it some are dr pepper and some of his uh some adult beverages but it is so cold that even in my refrigerator my dr pepper has turned to slush so it's cold but it's indiana in january what do you expect right let me get back to this I think I got her. <clears throat> Just got to put some line on it and we'll be done. Cleaned it up. Added just a drop of oil. I got to wipe it down a little bit. Put some line on it. We'll be ready to go. Put some gloves on. Just, I cleaned my hands, but afraid I got some oil on them or something. You know, don't want to, don't want to get them on the line. Guess what I just touched? The reel with oil. <laughs> All right, let me just see about getting some line on here. That's it for tonight. Got all the line on the spool. Um, got a little jig on there. Just uh, I don't know. If, I don't know if that one's gonna catch fish, but it's one I like. It's pink, so I put it out there, right? So. What I'm using again is this Trilene Micro Ice, eight pounds, uh, 110 yards on there. So I got roughly half on this one and half on the other rod that I did 
couple videos back. Um, operates pretty smoothly. Cleaned it up. Should be good to go. Like I say, we're really supposed to be getting into colder weather uh, next week. Single digits, so we should have some ice. And hopefully I can get out on the ice and make a video. Until then, get out in your shop. Try something new. Don't be afraid of failure. Because more often than not, you are going to succeed. Until next time, catch you later. I don't know why I have the heat on. That wind's coming through that window. It's cold. Time to go get dinner. Well, that's it for tonight. I got the uh, spool all... Got... <laughs>